If there's one car that's truly iconic for Mercedes-Benz in India, it has to be the E-Class. And now, Mercedes-Benz India is all set to launch this new generation E-Class right here in the country. And of course, this is a car that promises to set new benchmarks, not just with its heightened luxury quotient, but also its strong focus on technology. And this is your first look at the new E-Class. The E-Class was the first ever Mercedes-Benz car to roll out in India exactly 30 years ago. And besides being the most iconic luxury car in India, this also makes the E-Class the longest running luxury car model on sale in the country. What's more, Mercedes-Benz has sold more than 57,000 units of the E-Class in India and this includes the outgoing generation which was sold as the long wheelbase version only and has proved to be the most successful E-Class in India. This is a full generation change for the E-Class and that means the design is all new and it all starts with the front end where you have a new grille and new headlamps which look sharper than before. But more importantly, these headlamps are unlike any other Mercedes car sold in India and that means you simply cannot mistake this car for anything else but the new E-Class. And for the Indian market, we get this avant-garde style grille for a sportier appearance, keeping the younger buyers in mind and that's why it gets black surrounds around the chrome and besides that large three-pointed star in the center, the entire grille is studded with them and that makes for a very elegant appearance. An interesting bit of trivia about this new E-Class is that India is only the second market in the world to get the long wheelbase version of the E-Class and more importantly, we are the only market in the entire world to get its right-hand drive version. And of course, as part of this generation change, the new E-Class has gotten longer than before and that includes a longer wheelbase besides the overall length of the car. Another highlight on this new E-Class are the rear doors because these are Maybach style doors. The rear quarter glass is not on the door but it's on the C-pillar and this helps in making the doors smaller and that makes it easier and more convenient to close or open them, especially in a tight spot. And this of course is an E-Class, so the doors are soft closed. The rear end carries an air of elegance as always, but more importantly, the tail lamp design now integrates three-pointed stars too, which makes for a very distinctive look. Mercedes-Benz has also had a stronger focus on sustainability this time, and we are told the new E-Class uses 99 kilos of recycled materials inside out. Mercedes tells us that E-Class buyers in India are getting younger, and the overall interior design and theme here reflects that very clearly. Now, what's also worth noting is that this here is a massive glass panel inspired by the hyper screen that we first seen in the EQS and that should give you an idea about how much Mercedes is focusing on the technology and the overall bling quotient if I may say so about the new E-Class. And this glass panel houses a massive 14.4 inch touchscreen display for the infotainment system and that's besides a dedicated display for the front passenger and then you have the third screen which is the instrument cluster display and you simply cannot miss how neatly integrated the ambient lighting is into the dashboard. Now this new E-Class packs in so much technology, it could actually leave a lot of advanced and tech-laden EVs on the planet behind. And that includes a dedicated app suite, which lets you download a bunch of apps, including stuff like Spotify music, which you can actually play without having to depend on Apple CarPlay or Android Auto connectivity for your smartphone. So that means while your chauffeur could use CarPlay or Android Auto on his phone for navigation, you could sit at the back and listen to the music of your choice. But one of my favorite bits in terms of technology in this new E-Class has to be this selfie camera that you can actually use for WebEx or Zoom meetings, of course when the car is stationary and that's besides the Vivaldi browser here that will let you browse the internet or even watch videos on YouTube on this crisp and high resolution display. And then there's the 17 speaker, 730 watt Burmester audio system. That is a class apart. But this is a long wheelbase E-Class and that means this rear seat is the place to be in. Now Mercedes-Benz tells us that these rear seats are plusher and even more comfortable than before. I also have access to move the front seat, the front passenger seat from right here using this button. And that means I can make more space for myself. The seat back reclines even more. There's a wireless charging pad here and overall, this really is the best seat in the house.
Like before, this new E-Class will be offered with petrol and diesel engines both and will be called the E200 or the E220D and both versions will get an integrated starter generator as standard. So while the petrol will offer 205 PS and 320 Newton meters, that's from the engine and that's besides the 23 PS and 205 Newton meters from the ISG, the diesel will offer 200 PS and 440 Newton meters as standard, besides the 23 PS and 205 Newton meters from the ISG. We will be driving this new E Class very soon, and that's when we will be able to tell you about the driving experience and its comfort because comfort is what the E Class is largely all about. And Mercedes claims that this new E Class offers a heightened sense of luxury, better cabin quietness, and definitely a lot of comfort, especially when compared to the previous generation version. So stay tuned to Turbocharge because we will tell you about the driving experience and of course the prices of this new E-Class. And make sure you've subscribed to our YouTube channel as well.